We're live. It's me, Cray Sean, and we're gonna do a very first mom vlog. And I know all you 15 year old moms out there really want to know how to make your own baby food without all that goop and gop in it. Like, what are those ingredients? Come on, get real. All natural, organic. Here we go. Epic baby meal time. Epic baby meals. Potato on top of potato on top of another potato. I'm going to teach you guys how to make your own baby food today, to put it lightly. And I like to make my own baby food, and I guess, like, people don't really make their own baby food. I think I know more people who just buy baby food than make their own. This is my machine right here. This is what I use. Basically, what you need is potatoes and sweet I'm using sweet potatoes. This is Cuisine Art. It's a baby food steamer and pureeer. So you steam it. See, what we'll go all over this. It's pretty easy. Basically, we're doing a basic sweet potato puree. And you can see this potato is from the earth. These are sweet potatoes. And Sweet potatoes are good for your baby's first puree. That's usually what people give their babies the first puree. Next, you're going to slice it up into thin, about one inch pieces. You know, you want to keep them small because whether you have one of these things or you could steam it in, you still want to cut it small, even if you steam them, you can steam them on the stove, just like any other vegetable. I'm just lazy, so I got this machine, because it purees it too. But you steam it, so it gets soft, and then you can mash it up into a puree. I think everyone should get into pureeing your own baby food, because... It's way better for your baby, and it's cheaper. See, this is the best part, you know? People will be like, oh yeah, no, I save money. No, you're gonna save money making your own baby food. Ow, 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 ha ha ha. Tricked you. A good combo. If it's your baby's first time eating puree, I wouldn't put cinnamon in it, but Cinnamon's for the more advanced, you know, you can try more spices as they get older, you want it. So, once your vegetables are steamed, and each vegetable has its own steam setting, so you, you guys going to have to go look that up on your own. You want to puree it, and you can do that with any type of food processor. This is a special baby food maker, but you can use any type of food processor, magic bullet anything. Once the vegetables or fruit is soft, there you go. So I'm going to chop this up. I, I use ice cube trays. You can get special things, but ice cube trays does the trick. I would give, I would give my son two cubes and you know, you can mix and match what you mix together. And that's the best part is just coming up with combinations um, on the fly, you know, because you'll have some cubes of the sweet potatoes, and then you'll have some cubes of the peas, and you mix them together and make a yummy treat. But yeah, I used to do two. He's ten months now, and I do four, and and give him bottles, and he's a big guy, that guy. Oh no, this is the jug right here. You make your own baby food. Not only is it the best thing for your baby and you know exactly what's going in it you also get to save money because it's way cheaper to make your own baby food so once they're done they look like this little cubes of good goodness these are carrots these are green beans but yeah you just pop them in the microwave hallelujah holla back and come Feeding that baby the right type of stuff. We're live. It's me, Cray Sean, and we're going to do a very first mom vlog. And I know all you 15-year-old moms out there really want to know 
how to make your own baby food without all that goop and gop in it. Like, what are those ingredients? Come on, get real. All natural, organic. Here we go. Epic baby meal time. Epic baby meals. Potato on top of potato on top of 